Aces are always important in card games, but mm -hmm. these two aces in particular are especially so, because they have magic properties. Tell me more. Well, I won't tell you, I'll show you. Pick a card. Pick one of the aces. I've always liked the ace of spades, so I'll pick that All one. All right, well, let's put that on top of this pack. And yes. you can see yourself that it's sitting there right on top of the, uh, the pack yeah, of cards. It certainly right? is. Yeah. Now, it's going to give its magic properties now to every other card there. <laughs> really? Yeah, if I flip through, you'll see there isn't now a single red card in the pack. They've all gone black. Oh, you've stacked the deck. There are only black cards in the deck. No, there aren't all. Well, look, I'll show you. I'll take that card off again. The very next card is red. What if I'd selected the Ace of Diamonds, a red Why card? Why don't we try oh, yeah. Ace of Diamonds mm -hmm. on the deck like that, OK? We know at least there are two red cards there. Yes. Oh, magic properties. Now, every card in the deck is red. There's not a single black card. Here we are. Not uh, one. That's really quite remarkable. <laughs> How did you arrange the black and red cards? Well, I have to confess, it is a stacked deck, as you've probably guessed. They're arranged in a slightly cunning way, alternating. You see, the red pokes up that way. If I take that off, so does the next red. The black one pokes down that way. Oh. Take that off, red up there. So you arrange the whole deck, one card at a time. That's right. If you're going to set this up, you start, say, with the red one. Mm -hmm. Then you put a black one on it down there. Mm -hmm. The next red goes up there and you push it in to touch the red below it. Then you can take any black card, doesn't matter if it's the ace or not, and just keep shoving them until the edge coincides with the one before. Then if you hold the deck like that, only the red cards will catch on your finger. Turn the deck around when you're looking at the ace and only the back cards will catch on your finger and that's the stacked deck. Amazing. But I can do better than that. Let's take this deck now. You know it's stacked. Yes. So I will squash everything together and I will shuffle them, right? Yes. Absolutely shuffled many times. Mm -hmm. Now I'll spread them out. Pick a card and I'll tell you its colour. Any card. Well, they're shuffled now. I don't see right. how you could do it. I'll take um, that one. All right, don't let me see it, but I can tell you that is a black card. It is too. It's the mm. three of clubs. Well, can you do it a second time? Let's try me. Um, Any card I'll you? take one from under here and I'll pull it out quickly. Uh -huh. and... Ah, that's a red card. Yes, it's the seven of diamonds. OK, pick another. How are you doing this? Um, let's see if you can get three out of three. I'll take that one this time. I'd say that's a red card too. And it is. Three out of three. How did you pick the black and red card so accurately? Very simple, Dean. I stacked the deck. But it has to be a deck with a design that isn't symmetrical. Something like a kookaburra or a picture. And you simply arrange it so that when the cards are upright, they are black. When the picture on the back is upside down, they are red. And looking at the back of the cards, you can pick them every time.